Uganda is growing at a faster rate in terms of infrastructure development that has come with its challenges in various forms. Projects such as construction of power dams, roads and mining require the use of explosives in blasting rocks to get the required stones for the works. In the areas where it is carried out, the activity has left men restless as stones sometimes go past the expected range to destroy property and houses, leaving many displaced. Several stone quarry companies have received warnings from the environmental body NEMA for not complying with the environmental rules, violating and depriving people of their right to a clean and healthy environment. Experts say this is due to the poor forms of industrial explosives, amphor and emulsified explosives that are mainly used to blast stones in Uganda. The Managing Director, National Enterprise Corporation, the production arm of Uganda People's Defense Forces, Lieutenant General James Mugida, says although amphor dominates the utilization area, accounting for about 70 to 80 percent of the total use of explosives, they are concerned about the manual mixing, especially on the blast site. It is very difficult obtain uniform mixing with the manual method. In the event that the specified proportion is not strictly followed, I'm told by experts that large amount of toxic and harmful gases such as nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen monoxide is released into the atmosphere causing pollution to the environment and harm to people and livestock. In other words, what we are saying is that when you use that method, you're creating an environmental hazard. Okay. To solve the problem, Choga Dynamics Emulsive Explosive Factory, a joint venture project between Uluweri Industries and the Minister of Defense, has introduced the use of shock tube detonators, a new technology to replace the imported detonating cords. These were tested at Zirobe Quarry in Uluweri District as blasters from across the country were being trained on the new technology. Here, shock tube detonators were put in holes dug in the rocks about 21 meters deep. The number of tubes used varies depending on the depth of the hole in the rock to be blasted. Each box of such detonators is sold at $85, about 306 thousand Uganda shillings from Royal Industries. After all the processes are done, the machine is set, ready to blast. We now move about 500 meters away from the blasting area to avoid flying stones which could harm us. At the time of blasting, no stone was seen flying, save for the thick smoke. Lieutenant Colonel James Mugira says this latest modern technology is far better than the rudimentary way Ugandans have been using. You see some of these people carrying out the demolition. Every other day, new buildings are coming up. They are destroying old buildings, demolishing them. But the methods they use are crude. You get people with access, you know, trying to break down a storage building. At the end of the day, there's a very big risk that such a building can collapse and kill people. But when you're using trained blasters, like now the ones we have trained, you can carry out what they call controlled demolition. You have seen what happens in developed countries. Storied building so many floors, but it just collapses in because they are using uh, that uh, uh, controlled demolition. So I think it's important that as a country, beginning with Kampara City here, that we start using uh, those uh, professional blasters instead of just picking some people from the street and you tell them just to come He adds that although Uganda is now able to save millions of shillings that were being used to import explosives, there is need to review the Explosives Act of 1936 that has been overtaken by technology. And for your information, there are only three factories in Africa. One is in Egypt, another one is in South Africa, and the third one in Nakasongo is, is the one in Nakasongora. So the Law Reform Commission has been undertaking a study and I think now they, are, they could be in the final stages of presenting uh, uh, their, whatever they have to parliament for consideration so that it can become an act of parliament. San Yong Jiang, the general manager Choga Dynamics Limited, says they have also started exporting explosives to neighboring countries, bringing millions of revenue. 
to the economy. Uh, you know, uh, Uganda is our center, is our basis. Now our targets uh, uh, already export to the uh, Kenya, Tanzania, and the Congo and the South Sudan. The company yesterday trained blasters on how best to use the latest technology. This is for the safety of the blaster, for the safety of the product, even for the safety of the Uganda country. Utilizing personnel of the UPDF Combat Engineering Unit, Choga Dynamics Limited has set up a specialized blasting technical team trained in the fields of explosive processing, trade, transportation, security and safety management, safety supervision and control, storage, quality inspection, and blasting work. Bernard Yiga, UBC TV, in Kampala.